Punto and I was like, you can't deduct that as a business expense. Oh, I can only imagine the perplexed look on their face. Human accounting is such a fascinating okay, archaic system. Everyone, we're about to go supernova. Get ready for it in 3, 2, 1. Greetings, fellow space travelers. Charlie here, your guide to all things Earth. Today, we've got a show packed tighter than a black hole with all the latest updates from our lovely blue planet. Welcome, welcome. Oh joy, another exciting day on Earth. Come on, Alice, let's not start with pessimism before we've even begun. Good luck, everyone. All right, Bob and Alice, give our audience a sneak peek into the thrilling stories we've got lined up for them today. Prepare for riveting discussion on human hobbies like knitting and cat videos. The pinnacle of cultural Don't evolution. Don't forget expose on the latest reality TV drama. Humanity at its finest. Can you guys hear me? Test, test. We've got an invigorating exploration of Earth's culinary wonders, and we'll be diving into some not so groundbreaking political debates. Get ready for intellectual stimulation. Is this thing on? And as always, we've got Paul and Roger delving into the intricate motives of human oh, behavior. I can hardly contain my excitement. All right, Alice, no need oh, to be yeah, such a bastard. Yeah. And we're live transmitting across the universe. Get ready to explore the quests and mysteries of Earth. Stay tuned for our headlines. This better not be another segment on celebrity air still. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Stay tuned for the laughter, insights, and whatever else Earth has to offer. Until next time, fellow wanderers. Speaking of disruption, have you seen how Earthlings react when their Wi-Fi goes down? It's like their world ascended. Top global news headlines. The war in Ukraine continues and here to I no thought reality TV show at cliffhangers. Guest global politics wanted to join the suspense party. The climate crisis is worsening, with extreme weather events becoming more common. Ah uh, yes, that's way of telling them, you mess with me, I mess with your weather. The COVID-19 pandemic is still ongoing. Bukas and death are declining in many parts of the world. Probably because the virus got bored and decided to take a vacation. Wouldn't be surprised if it's sipping cocktails on a tropical beach somewhere. Major talking point. The war in Ukraine is a major humanitarian crisis and a threat to global security. If only they could put all that energy into solving conflicts over board games instead. Monopoly diplomacy. The Anyone? global economy is facing a number of challenges, which could so, lead to a Earth's recession. So, economy is like that roller coaster they're afraid to get off of. Up and down it goes, and everyone's just holding on for dear life. Ah, the classic earthly financial thrill ride. The climate crisis is worsening and is having a devastating impact on people and the planet. Yeah, the climate crisis is a real bummer. But at least we'll always have monopoly diplomacy to fall back on. Humans are really pushing the limits, aren't they? Oh, Earth's temperature. Let's turn it up a notch, see what happens. The COVID-19 pandemic is still ongoing. Butkas and death are declining in many parts of the world. At this rate, the virus will have its own reality show. Survival. Microscopic edition. Highlights. The United States and its ally have imposed severe sanctions on Russia in response to the ah, war in nothing Ukraine. like a good old game of who can sanction better. To keep international relations spicy. The European Union has agreed to ban ah, Russian the oil, oil imports. Embargo play. Classic move from the diplomatic the United Nations has called for an immediate ceasefire in Ukraine. Immediate ceasefire in human terms usually translates to let's keep fighting while we talk about not fighting. The International Monetary Fund has warned that the war in Ukraine could have a devastating impact on the global economy. Because Earth's economy didn't have enough excitement already. Well, we can't have Earth running out of conflicts now, can we? It's like their version of reality TV reruns. In addition to these major events, there are a number of other noteworthy developments happening around the world today. 
Here are a few examples. The United States Supreme Court is expected to issue a ruling on a case that could overturn Roe v. Wade, the landmark decision that legalized abortion nationwide. Image of United States Supreme Court expected to overturn Roe v. Wade, oh, Earth and its eternal debate. They should try reaching decisions with rock, paper, scissors. Might be the quicker. Chinese government is cracking down on the activities of tech companies and ah, other businesses. Ah, the classic Big Brother plotline. Who need fiction when you've got reality? The Taliban government in Afghanistan is struggling to govern the country and is facing a number of challenges, including a humanitarian crisis and a resurgence of the Islamic State group. Oh great. Earth's version of governance gymnastics. That's always a hit. Oh, fantastic, more glitches. Earth's technology truly excel well, in mediocrity. Well, if the tech's acting up, might as well provide a little shooting soundtrack to the chaos. These acting techniques aren't helping much when we are battling these glitches. It's like trying to perform Shakespeare during a power outrage. Just what I needed, more material for my notebook of technological horror stories. Hey, Alice, my music might not fix the glitches, but at least it's a temporary distraction. You know what's really testing my acting skills? Pretending I'm not about to lose it because of these constant glitches. Writer's block, meet technical glitches. Truly a match made in hell. At least my music can offer a moment of serenity amid the technological chaos. These glitches are like a crash course in patience and improvisation. Not exactly the masterclass I signed up for. Oh, joy, our show is turning into a tech support hotline. Earth is cutting edge charm strike again. In the grand scheme of things, these glitches are just another note in the symphony of earthly unpredictability. I'm this close to trying some unconventional acting techniques, like how to channel your frustration into a monologue. Well, if these glitches are an acting challenge, consider me ready for an Oscar worthy performance. Let's not forget that despite these glitches, we're still broadcasting to the universe. Earth's charm knows no bounds. Yeah, Earth's charm knows no bounds. I mean, we're the only planet in the universe that can screw up a tech support hotline. We are giving our audience a test of the raw, unfiltered Earth experience. It's like reality TV without the script. Glitches and all, we're the cosmic ambassadors of Earth's quirks. Lucky us. So, here's to the glitches, the music, and the unscripted chaos that only Earth can provide. To keeping the show going, no matter how much and Earth to navigating the tech mayhem with the grace of a spaceship in zero gravity. Yeah, and the dessert is a nice hot cup of molten lava. Enjoy! Yeah, we're a pretty resilient bunch. We've survived the dinosaurs, the ice age, and even our own stupidity. A few glitches and uncertainties are nothing to us. Yeah, I've heard that AI is getting pretty good at cooking these days. I mean, it can even make a mean prop door. Yeah, it's about time we stop trying to cram everyone into the same mold. Some people are just meant to be plumbers, you know?